Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. How's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. Got a new fragrance today. Came in the mail earlier and I've been wearing it, so it's time for some first impressions. You know what fragrance it is because you've read the title of the video, I'm assuming. It's Paco Rabanne's Invictus Platinum. We skipped Invictus Bronze, Copper, Silver, and Gold, just straight to Platinum. Like always, I'm gonna show you guys the presentation today and what a presentation it is. And I will also let you know my initial thoughts on this one, what I think about it, and how it stacks up against the other heavy hitters in the Invictus lineup that I love so dearly, deep within my soul. <laughs> it's just play and I kinda hate Invictus. Not all of them though, to be fair. Enough of all that, let's jump into it. Let's check it out. It's Invictus Platinum time. Hey guys, before I jump into the presentation and the fragrance itself, a little code for you, save you some money. Not a code to save money on Invictus Platinum though. Yeah, this is a code I just now got, which is why it's getting put into this video. So it is for jomashop.com. They sell a ton of stuff there. Clothing, watches, fragrances. Actually, I've bought more uh, other things like sunglasses and clothing than fragrances from there, but they, they got fragrances. So if you never heard of them, they're a discounter. Like I said, they're starting to get more fragrance stuff in. The pricing is actually pretty good on most of it, believe it or not. I had a bunch of people hit me up and ask me about them and I told them I've not used them, but I think they're legit. And then I placed some orders myself here recently and all was good. And as luck would have it, they hit me up and asked if I would want a code to give to you guys so you could save money if you wanted to shop on Joma Shop. And I said, sure, because I'm gonna take the code too. and I'm gonna use it myself. But the code is GENTS8, G-E-N-T-S-8, the number eight. And that'll save you $8 off any order over $100. The prices there are already good, so that eight bucks will make them even better. So Joma Shop, Gents 8, save eight bucks. All right, presentation time, Paco Rabanne Invictus Platinum. Here you got the front of the box. You have the name of the fragrance, name of the house, the size, the concentration. This is an Eau de Parfum 100 ml size bottle. Little Paco Rabanne logo up on top of the box. On the back, you have a QR code. Scan to discover the universe. Paco Rabanne's leaning really heavy into that here lately with the whole phantom thing, the really terrible phantom universe website. But hey, scan that code and discover the universe. Yeah, the entire universe, all of it. Meaning of life, Invictus Platinum. On the bottom, you're gonna find your batch code punched into the box. It is 13571 on my bottle. And here we have the beautiful bottle of Invictus Platinum. Now my wife actually likes it. She took a look at this and said, oh, I like the coloration on that and I don't mind the wings. I hate it. I think this is the ugliest Invictus bottle, period, bar none. I think it's pretty grotesque. I hate the wings on the front. I don't think they look all that good. They look pretty cheesy, cheap, childish. I don't like them. And also the coloration, it's kind of off to me for some reason. Like I said, my wife likes it, but for me, that dark gray up at the top gives me the idea or the feeling of like uh, stagnant water, metallic stagnant water for some reason. That's what it gives me, that kind of vibe. So I'm not a big fan of this. Usually I would say a gradient. Yeah, I'm all about it, it looks good. But here on this bottle, I don't like it at all. Of course, it's your typical Invictus trophy style presentation, says Invictus up at the top. Atomizer is built into the top as well. On the bottom, you'll find your badge code etched into the glass. This one for a 100 ml bottle is $104 US at full retail. So obviously the presentation I'm not a fan of, but all that out of the way, what do I think about the fragrance itself? Is this a good release in the Invictus line? How does it stack up to the others? Do I like it being a semi-Invictus hater? What's the deal? Oh yeah, first I need to spray it. I forgot about that. I mean, the atomizer works like all the Invictus ones, but we always do it, so here you go. Couple sprays, it's actually nice. Good little atomizer. Now when you very first spray this one on, you get kind of an alcohol blast. It settles down pretty quickly, but it is one of those fragrances where if you spray it and you immediately go in, you're gonna get hit with like the singeing death of rubbing alcohol frying the hairs on the inside of your nose right off your face. 
So let this one settle for a second before you go in deep diving into Invictus Platinum. Now, when I first sprayed it on, I wasn't a big fan. Slapped me in the face, punched me around a little bit, kicked me in the ribs. I wasn't liking it. Kind of gross, an overload of Ambroxan is what it smelled like to me with a bit of that bubble gum from Invictus, but dialed down. But that was just my initial impression the first time I smelled it. And I have sprayed it on a couple times since then to where I can actually give you a better reckoning of how it smells. So you get grapefruit in the opening, but not a huge amount of it, not an overload. This one is actually fairly green, which is interesting. Not what you would think of when you say the word Invictus as pertains to fragrances. Typically when you say Invictus, you just think bubblegum sweet, kind of a clubbing fragrance, very youthful, a little bit loud. And this one does have a bit of that in the opening. As I mentioned before, that bubblegum sweetness, yeah, you can pick it up in the open, but it's actually nowhere near as prominent as you're gonna find in most of the other Invictus fragrances. Like I said, this one leans into the green side of things pretty early on, which is probably not much of a surprise when you look at the note breakdown. They have absinthe in there, they have mint. But even with those notes in the note breakdown, before you smell it, you probably still wouldn't think Paco Rabanne Invictus is gonna have any sort of real green facet to it. Yet it does. Now I do still pick up kind of an ambroxany flair to the fragrance even early on, which does tie it in a bit with the earlier Invictus fragrances that have ambergris and the note breakdown. And maybe little hints, whispers, remnants of the jasmine from the earlier Invictuses, you can pick that up here as well, kind of fleeting and in the background. Invictuses. Would the plural be Invicti? Yeah, the previous Invicti fragrances, I was a huge fan of. <laughs> Invictuses. Now that bubblegummy feel steps back pretty early on for me. And again, it's nowhere near as prominent as the earlier entries in the fragrance line. So keep that in mind. The mint comes out and the mint here kind of wafts and changes between being camphorous and mentholated. So it's not really as much the type of mint that you'll find in a fragrance like Versace Eros, for example. Maybe you could tie it in a little bit with that one, but this isn't as sweet. And it does have, like I said, that kind of camphorous, mentholated vibe at times when you pick it up in the air, and actually especially up close. That's one thing I'll say, this one smells better in the air than up close. When I smelled it right up next to my skin, there were times I didn't like it very much, especially heading through the mid. I thought it had kind of an off-putting feel to it. But then as I moved around and I would catch a whiff, it smelled really nice. So this is gonna be one of those ones that in the air, Smells great to a lot of people, but right up close, maybe at times it'll be a little off-putting. Keep that in mind. And again, this is the first day I've worn it, so it's just my initial impressions. As it dries down, it does become more of a woody green fragrance. Again, kind of an ambroxany modern woodsy green. So you still retain a good amount of freshness into the dry down. It doesn't go full bore into like a more old school green type of fragrance. That's not what this is. The official notes are cypress and patchouli in the base. Maybe you could stretch your mind out and think, oh yeah, yeah, kind of patchouli, kind of cypress. But again, done with a modern flair and a bit of an amber woody ambroxan vibe. Leaning more to the fresh side of things than the dense, heavy side of things. Performance seems to be good, which you would expect. Seems to be projecting pretty well. Can't tell you what the longevity is, but it seems like it'll be nice. And in terms of seasons, this is gonna be nearly one of those year round fragrances. I think I'd reach for it more probably in spring and fall if I had to specifically pick out seasons to wear it in. But this is coming off to me like one of those fragrances you could pull off just about year round. And you would just dial your sprays up or down as needed. Obviously, if it's really hot, don't spray it on as much as if it's really cold. Common sense type stuff. Now, where do I feel like this slots in for me personally in the Invictus lineup? It's kind of hard to say, because this is, again, the first day I've worn it. I liked Invictus Victory more initially. That one grabbed me right away, and I knew it was the style of scent that I liked. This one, the first time I wore it, I didn't like it very much the first time I sprayed it on. But then the second and third time, yeah, I've sprayed it on three times today. I liked it progressively more each time. And as I actually moved around and did things today and I caught whiffs of it in the air, like I said, it smelled a lot better than when I was sitting there the first time smelling it like this. So I would slot it right now underneath Invictus Victory, but then maybe above everything else in the Invictus line. With the understanding that if you're a big fan of the Invictus DNA, then Invictus Legend and Invictus Aqua, you would probably like more. For me personally though, 
I think I'm going to put it right there. I think I'm going to put it underneath victory and above everything else. I think if you want something a little bit more attention grabbing with the Invictus DNA, Legend is what I would go for. And if you want something more for high heat situations, Aqua is what I'd go for. And if you want something more for just fall and winter, Invictus Victory. And then this one, kind of a jack of all trades. Solid release in the line outside of the packaging. That's the worst part about it. Everything else is pretty nice. So there we go, Invictus Platinum, nice little surprise, much better than I thought it would be. If you smelled that, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Thank you for hanging with me today. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.